The October 2011 elections will be Liberia's fourth in the last 25 years. The first two, 1985 and 1995, were followed by violence after failure to address some lingering issues. This is a very critical election for Liberia, for West Africa, and the continent in general. Liberia has been an anchor of stability in West Africa, most recently during the crisis of Cote d'Ivoire. But these gains, while significant, are fragile and necessitate sustained engagement from the United States and the international community for challenges still remain. In Washington this week was a delegation of President Salif Johnson's government to shed more light on what they have achieved so far and the obstacles they have met. With Bahan President Saleh's leadership, uh, we were able to restore some water to Monrovia. Uh, we were able to uh, reopen schools, focusing on uh, education infrastructure in the beginning to get the kids, uh, especially war-affected kids, from the street into a school building. And then now we are focusing on training teachers and providing learning materials so that we can provide quality education to them. We uh, strengthened our anti-corruption pillars, especially the, uh, gov the um, General Auditing Commission that was giving independence and autonomy and more support. We established an anti-corruption commission. We acceded to a host of other in initiatives on the international front to bring credibility back to the government one of which is the uh, Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, the EITR. During the period leading to these two elections, the laws were broken and the electoral process configured in a way to ensure the victories of Mr. Samuel K. Doe and Mr. Charles Taylor. This led to decades of civil war. We have come a long way since 2006 when this administration and this government started because what we met was truly, you know, dysfunctional institution, collapsed economy, um, lack of creditworthiness, bad reputation for the country, a failed state, a pariah state, as we were all characterized. Today, I think we can say that Liberia is functioning again. But the last general elections went on and saw the election of Salif Johnson, as the first woman president elected in Africa. Her government has not had a smooth ride considering the state that the country was in after decades of civil war. This administration inherited very low human capital, uh, no skills. You have a youthful population that has no education. You know, uh, uh, so the, 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 the focus here was to, to rebuild our institutions, to focus on the judiciary, to focus on the justice sector, to begin to put in place the framework uh, uh, within which we can begin to provide access to justice to our world traumatized citizens. People in the street are vulnerable. They're vulnerable to rhetoric. And if they're whipped up and stirred up, it can just throw the country back into a situation that it doesn't need to be in. But I am urging my countrymen and women uh, to vote their conscience, to think about the direction the country is heading into. If their lives are better off today than they were five years ago, I hope they can vote for this president. If not, I hope they can vote for a better person. As Liberia crossed towards the 2011 presidential elections, a powerful question that is finding its way into the minds of many Liberians is whether or not Salif should continue with her reform agenda or try somebody else who may speed up economic recovery. Aaron Ocheng, Mark TV News.